Live. I'm in. Dacă tu ești îngerul lui Dumnezeu. I said if you are truly the angel of God. Și vrei să vorbești la americani. And you want me to say this to the Americans. Tu trebuie să ne arăți un scris biblic. You must show this written to me in the scripture. Dacă nu scrii biblia, eu nu pot să vorbesc. If it's not scriptural, I won't tell anyone. Îți spune ce îți spune el să citea. He said tell them to read. Ieremia 51. Jeremiah chapter 51. Versetul 8 până la 15. Verses 8 through 15. Și Apocalipsa capitolul 8 până la 15. And Revelation chapter 18. Și lupta lui Hristos împotriva popoarelor. And the fight of Christ against the nations. Zaharia 14. Zechariah 14. Okay. I'll repeat the verses for you. Jeremiah 51, 8 through 15, Revelation chapter 18, and Zechariah chapter 14. The Jesus Christ. Says Christ Himself. With the church will stand on the mountain of olives. And from the mouth of the sword of Jesus Christ, all the nations will be destroyed. But we will have joy. We will live with Christ here on earth for one thousand years. Christ will take us to green pastures. We will drink of the river of life. And eat of the tree of life. And we will live forever, brothers. That's what the Word of God says. Amen. Bet parando ro bega saravot faramant. Ascolta bezare ke chese che dois fan. This is what the Holy Spirit says. Trazeste te shantarche te din tata inima. Be awake and repent with all of your heart. Kazil negri che zili grele vin pesti ti. For dark days and days of trouble are soon coming over you. Shnai uni se te askunze chato. And there will be no place to hide, saith the Lord. Daka astas nus veis punim minti an judecata. If today you will not begin to think about me. Daka numa vei kema din tata inima. And if you will not call upon me with all of your heart. Daka numa vei parasi pakato. If you will not leave sin behind. Shnai te vei intarche katre minti. And you will not come back to me. Mani va fi terziu ze chato. Tomorrow will be too late, saith the Lord. Daka etin shtim ces. This is why I tell you, because I love you, and I want to save your soul. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ came in body. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Brothers, there is no way we can play with God. God is an all-consuming fire. I was at a convention here in Florida. I was at a convention here in Florida. It was right during the war with Hussein. And they preached for about two days. But never once did they mention Christ. They spoke only on Hussein. They had big maps upon the walls. This is where Babylon is. This is how it will be destroyed. This is going to be Armageddon. And they spoke of everything else except Christ. Well, I was supposed to be the last speaker. And I was supposed to say that America is Babylon. But the devil comes to me and he begins to say, Look at what these people are saying. You know, these people are doctors, evangelists that are smarter than you. They're showing you upon the map where Babylon was. And how it will be destroyed. How can you say America is Babylon? Go home. Just hide. When they call you, don't get up. And during the hardest trouble, brothers, I heard my name being called. When they called me up, I was already disarmed. Because the devil fought to disarm me. I began to shake. And I said, Dear Lord, I'm empty. If you come, I will speak. If not, I'll say nothing. And as I was going up the stairs, I saw a fire coming through me. When that fire came, I wasn't myself anymore. Somebody knew there. And a voice says to me, tell them to read. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 7. And then I will interpret the verse. Alright, I'll read it because I found it first. That's it. Jeremiah 51 verse 7. And it says, Babylon was a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunk. The nations drank her wine, therefore the nations are deranged.
Amen? Babylon was a golden cup in God's hand. And then I asked the brothers, which God does Hussein pray to? Someone from the pew said, Mohammed. Now, how can Hussein be a golden cup in God's hand? Because he does not pray to the true God. Let's think about this. They began to look at one another. I said, brothers, the angel of God is telling me what the interpretation is. David says at one point, your word, O Lord, is more precious than pure gold. And now America was blessed of God. America had the Bible. This is the golden cup. America had missionaries. America took the Bible all over the world. And millions came to God. And America, instead of growing, it fell. Because all the Americans, you know, oh, I want to go preach in China. I want to go preach in Russia. I want to go preach in Romania. But who's preaching in America? Who is preaching in America? We just leave America like this because we have to go out. It's, the way we live is good enough, huh? We just put the Bible aside. And we live the way our heart likes. There is no way, brothers. And I asked. It says the nations drink her wine, therefore all the nations are as deranged. They want to come to Babylon. Now who wants to immigrate to Iraq? All of them said, no, not us, no. Well then, brothers, who accepted the most immigrants in the world? America. America. If they'd say yes to Romania, all the communists would be here in 24 hours. You know, they see that the Bible comes from America. They see missionaries come from America. They see all the aid comes from America. They see all the blessings coming from America. They believe that in America God resurrects the dead. Same thing I believed. But when I got here, I was completely lost. Dear Lord, I thought, you know, the devil resurrected here. But it was totally opposite that. And verse 8 says this. Babylon has suddenly fallen. The 9, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not. Forsake her, everyone. For her judgment reaches to heaven.